Assalamualaikum and have a nice day everyone. My name is Noor Azira binti Marzuki. In this video, I want to present my final project for visual art and international culture subject. Firstly, I have created the idea sketches. Uh, I am using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator uh, to make the idea sketches. Uh, as you can see, there are 20 sketches. All these sketches are closely related with my chosen state. So this is the process sketches. So next we go to process and progress of the project. So firstly, uh, I draw the selected idea on canvas. Uh, second, color the background using dark brown color. Uh, third, and uh, Color the mosque, we follow the color on the selected idea sketches. After that, uh, we can see the result uh, coloring at the mosque. And then uh, make the outline around the shape of mosque. So we can see the different shape that created at the design of mosque. Next, color the other building, we follow the design on the sketches. Use the ceramic tool to make the circle shape. Uh, just dip the tool into acrylic and paste on the canvas. Uh, so we can see the dots on the canvas. After that, uh, make the outline and pattern at the rough of building uh, with using brush and acrylic. Finally, uh, as you can see, this is the final product. So we move to the artist reference. Uh, my selected artist reference is Lynn Honest. Uh, he born at William McLintock Honest on 4 December 1948. Uh, he died on 24 October uh, 1996 at the age 47. Uh, he was an Australian artist of Scottish Aboriginal origin. He also known as a painting, a sculpture and printmaking. Uh, Honest was educated in the 1950 and 1960 at Deepdin Primary School and Baldwin High School in Melbourne, Victoria. His painting, Barma Forest, uh, won Canberra's National Aboriginal Heritage Award in 1994. <coughs> the works of Honest often involve symbolism from Aboriginal style of painting uh, along with recontextualism of contemporary art artistic elements. So this is the Honest artwork. As you can see, the Honest artwork more closely relate with Aboriginal style. So I went to explain to you about my art criticism for my final artwork. Firstly, the description of the final artwork is uh, the title of the artwork is The Monument of Kedah. Uh, this size is 60 cm times 80 cm. Uh, the medium used is acrylic on canvas. Uh, so the style I have used in this final artwork is Aboriginal art. This final artwork was created in this year. This is January 2020. So we move to the analysis of this artwork. In this artwork, uh, there are two monuments that are very popular visit in Kedah. If you can see, there are many types of shape. For example, at the Zahir Mosque and Pedi Museum, uh, we can see the Geometric shapes such as circle, rectangle, triangle, and trapeze. Uh, there are also some organic shapes. Uh, if you can see the grass and in front of Paddy Museum and Paddy shape at the rough of Paddy Museum. Uh, we can see the use of color in this artwork. Uh, there are warm color and natural color. Uh, we can see the warm color at the rough of Paddy Museum and the natural color at the Zahir Mosque and Paddy Museum body. So we move to the interpretation of this artwork. 
the Pedi Museum in the Zahir Mosque was presented in this artwork because it is the most symbol and history monument of Kedah. Pedi Museum dedicated to the rice plain, Pedi, the world's most important crop. The word of Pedi is derived from the Malay word Padi, meaning rice plain, so it appropriate that one of the world's few rice museums should be in Malaysia. The Zahir Mosque was built upon the tomb and grave of Palan Kedah warrior that died during Siam's invasion of Kedah. The design was inspired by the vision of the late Sultan Muhammad Jiwa Zainal Abidin II, who was in turn inspired by the Azizi Mosque of the Langkat Sultanate in North. So lastly, this is my final artwork that I explained before. The title is a Monument of Kedah. Uh, the size is 6TCM time 8TCM. Uh, the medium used in this artwork is acrylic on canvas. Uh, this artwork was created in this year, uh, which is uh, January 2021. Uh, the style that I use in this artwork is Aboriginal art. So that's all of my presentation about my final artwork. Thank you to my lecturer Miss Akmal Ahmad Kamal because helped me a lot in this subject. And thank you to all of you because watching this video.